What's up, conspirators? How are things on your end of the video? On my end of the video, the video I got for you is not a funny video and is not an animal video. As entertaining as those videos are and as plentiful as they are on YouTube, I like to switch it up every once in a while. Specifically, something motivational and inspirational being today's viral video. This video is of Matt Kemp, who comes over to a fan on the sideline um, and I, I'm not sure when it is during the game. They must be like near the end of it or the beginning of it. Probably near the end of it. Whatever. Regardless of any of what I've just said or of that point, Matt Kemp comes over to uh, a fan who is currently fighting cancer and can't talk, but Matt Kemp is one of his uh, I guess idols and people he looks up to and admires and Matt Kemp he comes over to him and starts talking to him and says oh hey hi how's it going and uh, the guy he's holding a ball a baseball the game ball and uh, he you know he gives it to him and Matt Kemp he signs it and then he says oh and by the way he gives him his hat his gloves his jersey and his shoes on top of that and he's like oh and then, uh, you know, he shakes his hand and, and says, You can do this, man. We're all pulling for you. And then he walks away. And then the reaction of him afterwards, he's sitting here holding all this stuff, and he's like, Oh my gosh. So, that's today's viral video for you. And I already explained all of it, so I already spoiled all the uniqueness of it. But I know you'll enjoy this video because it was uploaded only a couple of days ago. And uh, is nearing the million view mark. But it's one of those videos I heard about on the radio. I came home to watch it and I'm like, yeah, it's a good video. So, link to that video down below. In the wrapper, enjoy watching it. You know, let me know what you think about it. If you like it or not, uh, you know, post a comment. So, today, to recap the Daily Mailman diaries. Um, today was, weather-wise, was great. Um... And I'm working next to these two co co-workers. Apparently, I've already been dubbed the wise guy um, because I just cracked these one-liners and they're all laughing. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm apparently one of those guys. And uh, then, like, <clears throat> when another co-worker comes over and, and she's like, well, don't you know, he's an actor. Um... <laughs> Need I say more? Anyways, so I'm out delivering the mail uh, on the same route that I was on yesterday, and so I was like, okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to get this all done. Not a problem. And I didn't have a problem because I knew where I was going and I knew where I was going to park, blah, blah, blah. So I get to one house. Actually, I finished delivering one house, and I go to the next house, and this house is situated that with a little bit of a front yard, a driveway on the side of the house, and a, a small backyard around the back. And so, in this backyard is a dog. It's it's like one of those small, really small um, dogs, schnauzer. And it starts barking. It comes running around the side of the house, and I notice it does not have a leash. And I'm like, oh god. Great, I am screwed, and I am not gonna run because I am holding a whole bunch of mail, um, and it's probably gonna chase me halfway down the block. It has no leash, and so I'm caught in this awkward situation of I'm standing in the middle of whoever this owner's yard is, and I'm like, oh great, I sure hope it doesn't bite me. So I, you know, just pretend I'm like, okay, I need to put myself in the mindset. Dogs smell fear. <laughs> I, I know how to behave around a dog. So, you know, the, the dog, he's all bark, no bite. He comes running up. He wanted to see what was going on, what what I was doing. And, he, you know, he saw I came up. I, I delivered the mail. You know, I said, hey, how's it going? And the dog's like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. And then <laughs> the dog proceeds to stand there in front of the yard and watches me deliver the rest of the block that the dog lives on and, and bark at me the whole time. And I'm just sitting there laughing, and I'm like, 
all of the dogs on my route, they're all bark and no bite. Some of them will bite, but I, I bite back. Dogs, if you're watching this, I bite back. So, trust me on that one. I will drop the mail and I will bite you back. So if you're a dog, back off. So, <laughs> I'm like laughing here because I'm like thinking in the back of my mind, okay, I was like, a dog living in a house all day, um, owner is probably gone most of the day out working, dog knows you know, when the owner is home, probably in the evening, leaves in the morning. So the dog really has nothing to do for the entire day except just lay around, sleep, and be bored. Except they must have like a checklist or something because it's like, okay, mailman's here. Okay, bark at the mailman. Check. I can check that off my list. I barked at the mailman. I did an accomplishment today. I scared him off or whatever's going through the dog's mind. But, you know, I got I took care of the mailman. I'm going to have to, you know, keep that on schedule for tomorrow because when that mailman comes back, you know, I'm going to have to say, hey, how's it going, dude? Dude, you got, like, the down low on, on the Fifi Foods on, uh, on a KK and Bolivar. You know, like, hook me up with the good stuff. I don't know what the heck dogs talk about. So, dog that's uh today's wife and a mailman so <laughs> i'm like one of the only mailman who was like i will bite that dog back if i do not have a treat and that dog looks like it wants to bite me anyways that's all i did today and then i come home um and really kind of did nothing for the whole rest of the day except take it easy because walking around for a living let me tell you standing and walking around for your living uh, it's being a mailman is like a full body workout every single day. So I got my workout. I had a good day and so I just kind of came home and, and sat around and then decided to, well my sister turned on Antiques Roadshow and then after that, or before that, we were watching American Idol. Uh, before that she was watching another program she wanted to watch. I'm not sure what it was, but we're watching American Idol and then we're watching um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, and all of a sudden we just get into this weird loopy moment of, <laughs> of people randomly getting their stuff appraised and then freaking out and going, oh my gosh, $15,000, I'm going to refinance my house. I don't know. It's just me. So, yeah. Can you, can you tell I'm tired? I've worked all day. I'm tired. It was a good day. I'm laughing. Having a great time. What'd you guys do today? Post down below in the comment section. Always like hearing what you guys are up to. But, alas, I have to close this video up and uh, call it a night. Because, well, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, ta-da, it's nighttime. Okay, so time for me to go to bed. Time for you to go to bed, too, if it's nighttime. But if it's daytime, you know, probably a good idea to stay up until it is nighttime. Then you can go to sleep. Then, you know, wake up when it's daytime, obviously. So then you can sleep during the night all over again. Anyways, this video is going in circles. Can you tell? I gotta go. Be sure to share this video with the Frank Computer. Captain America rocks! And until we meet again, bro5 out.